For fans of the Stargate franchise, waiting for a new show is becoming a long series of false starts. Teenagers who got hooked on SG-1 and Atlantis back in the early 2000s are now in their 30s, and fans who were busy raising families and sneaking in episodes after putting their kids to bed are now sending those kids off to college. When we lost Stargate Universe in 2011, fans figured it wouldn't take long for the valuable and beloved science fiction property to come back again. So in 2014, MGM announced a movie trilogy, and in 2017, we got the Stargate Command streaming service. In 2018, we got the Stargate Origins webisodes. And in 2019, Stargate television co-creator Brad Wright announced that he was talking with MGM about making a new Stargate series. All of these potential revivals were false starts, and the fandom found itself in despair, thinking MGM was the one holding the series back and wondering if the studio was even capable of even getting new Stargate made again. So when the sale of MGM to Amazon was announced in May 2021, it was like that moment at the end of The Wizard of Oz where everyone is singing Ding Dong the Witch is Dead. That's enough. Play, uh, play the other one. Without MGM to hold it down, Stargate would have a chance to begin again under Amazon. While James Bond and Rocky were getting all of the headlines, it was us Stargate fans who were really getting the win. The studio hadn't stopped making movies, but they had totally neglected one of the best science fiction franchises of all time. But thanks to Federal Trade Commission Chair Lena Khan, the citizens of Oz have stopped singing and are now afraid the Wicked Witch might not be dead at all. And if the MGM sale to Amazon doesn't go through, you can bet a thousand flying monkeys we won't be seeing a new Stargate series anytime soon. Does that mean all hope is lost? Or is there light somewhere over the rainbow? You don't want to miss this episode. We should check it out. Okay. Meredith. Also, make sure you stay tuned until later in the show, where we'll be showing you why Surfshark VPN makes an excellent partner for giving you control of your internet experience across the globe. And if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please do so now, and give us a thumbs up if you want more news about your favorite shows. Also, click the notification bell to never miss an episode. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to see how to get this awesome Stargate No Place Like Home inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at Mixtees.com. It was easy to assume the purchase of MGM by Amazon would be under heavy scrutiny by the FTC. Amazon is a ravenous global dominating business whose hunger wasn't satiated after gobbling up more than 50% of global retail sales in 2021. It also dominates web hosting, grocery stores, publishing, video game streaming, shipping services, video on demand, and now TV and movie studio streaming. 34 groups from the Writers Guild of America West to public citizens who demand progress have already appealed to the FTC to block Amazon's purchase of MGM out of fear of the e-commerce giant's growing dominance. These complaints were expected. However, recent news that the FTC is gearing up for a potential antitrust lawsuit in an attempt to block the purchase is a step with rare precedence. According to theinformation.com, People familiar with the situation are reporting that the FTC is indeed exploring a lawsuit action that would include hiring expert witnesses. A decision to file the lawsuit will be made in the next few weeks, according to the insiders. So why would the FTC do this? Stopping Amazon from acquiring MGM would fulfill a key objective of FTC Chair Lena Khan, who has been a vocal critic of Amazon's expanding power. Khan. Come. 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 Prior to her appointment as the FTC chair, she made public statements about the company, including a statement that Amazon is guilty of antitrust violations and should be broken up. These strong words would sound the alarm for Amazon when she was appointed the FTC chair. In response, Amazon filed a motion with the FTC requesting Khan's recusal, hoping to ban her from decision making because of her obvious bias against Amazon. Their appeal was turned down. Senator Elizabeth Warren also sent a letter to Khan requesting the FTC conduct a broad and meticulous review of the MGM deal. 
So on July 9th, the FTC began a review which appears to be resulting in a potential lawsuit now. But despite the FTC throwing everything they have at Amazon, Stargate fans have more on their side than they realize. The FTC has a couple really big problems working against them. But before we break that down for you, let me quickly tell you why Surfshark VPN is going to change the way you surf the internet. There are no days off when it comes to connecting to the internet. And because this is where we work, pay our bills, and connect with loved ones, safety and security are two of the most important things to us. This is why we use Surfshark VPN for our all-in-one solution. Surfshark turns you into an anonymous and hard to trace online user and makes the internet a safer and more enjoyable place for everyone. With the click of a button, you can forget about data mining and intrusive advertisements. Need access to different content on Disney Plus and Netflix because of geo-blocking? Surfshark gives you all the access you need. The online world is like a vast and dangerous ocean. Why not swim with the shark? Surfshark VPN will help you safely navigate everything you do online. And now Surfshark VPN is extending a special offer to you. Don't miss this limited time offer to protect your online experience. Go to surfshark.deals/thepopcast and enter promo code thepopcast to get 83% off plus 3 extra months free. Surfshark offers a 30-day money back guarantee, so there's no risk. Surf with your own set of rules. The link is in the description below. Amazon.ca, what's the website for that? Now for some good news and a reason we think Stargate fans can breathe a sigh of relief. The FTC is currently deadlocked at a 2-2 vote down party lines and would need a majority to file the lawsuit. That fifth member will be Alvaro Bedoya, eventually. But the President Biden nominee has been in limbo in the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation, which oversees the FTC. You know how I know how hard it is! The insiders close to the case believe Bedoya would vote for the lawsuit, but Khan and her 2-2 vote is running out of time. Bedoya would be critical to filing a case, but it is unclear if he will join the commission in time to file a lawsuit. The Senate Commerce Committee panel was recently deadlocked 14-14 over Bedoya's nomination, likely as a result of his past tweet that described the 2016 Republican National Convention as a white supremacist rally. It's racist. There is no telling how long it will take to get Bedoya confirmed, and with the European Commission about to make a decision on the deal, Khan and her lawsuit are running out of time. But even if a lawsuit is filed, the FTC will have an uphill battle. The Department of Justice sued to block AT&T's takeover of Time Warner based on a similar theory. They would end up losing in court in 2019. The DOJ also declined to investigate a merger of direct competitors Warner Media and Discovery, which included a significantly larger amount of video content than what MGM holds. The reality is that while Amazon is a huge business trying to own large sections of various markets, its acquisition of MGM will not make it a streaming monopoly. Amazon faces stiff competition for consumer dollars from Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, HBO Max, Paramount+, and Peacock, among others. Have you ever watched Sunday Night Programming on HBO? It's spectacular. And this $8.5 billion sale is very small relative to other Hollywood studio deals that have gone down lately. AT&T spent $85 billion on Time Warner, and Disney bought Fox for $71.3 billion. This purchase is not only a drop in the corporate bucket, but it doesn't remotely give Amazon an edge over other streaming companies. It's difficult to imagine the courts would rule against the sale just because Amazon is making the purchase when there is no historical judicial precedence to do so. While we strongly believe Amazon would win any trip to court over this deal, the reality is that a lawsuit would greatly extend the time before Amazon could own MGM and perhaps longer to launch a new Stargate series. And that is not something we want to happen. The FTC has been trying to build a case against Amazon for three years now. For the sake of our franchise, let's hope they let this acquisition go through and continue to build their case against the e-commerce giant through other avenues. So where does this leave Stargate fans? Brad Wright is still waiting for the green light with a script, actors, and producers ready to get to work on a new series. Amazon will understand the benefit of having a ready-to-go team and a starving fan base ready to throw their money at a Prime Video subscription. 
Let's hope this is only a minor speed bump on the road to a new Brad Wright Stargate series. For now, we'll have to wait and see. What do you think? Do you think the FTC is right about Amazon, or should they just knock it off already and give us our Stargate? Is anyone shocked that politics are once again getting in the way? Politics, man. The culture of fear wins again. Let's talk about it in the comments below. Also, check out this incredible Stargate No Place Like Home inspired graphic design from the amazing artists at Mixtees.com. Get 20% off your purchase by using coupon code THEPOPCAST. The link is in the description below. Excellent. My first order of business. Get me one of those cool jackets. Extra large. Double XL if you got it. Hungry for more current pop culture news? then make sure you head over and subscribe to the Popcast Unleashed for daily content. Hear us talk about all of your favorite things. Click on the link in the description below. Until next time. Don't want the show to end? Become a Popcast member by hitting the join button to get exclusive content, including special member live streams, Discord privileges, behind the scenes access, and so much more. Click join and let's hang out.